Good morning, YouTube. So with today's video, I tried doing this one yesterday. Perfect green scent, just like the pasture here. That's why I'm doing it. But we're gonna be talking about Armaf Trenri. So launch date, not exactly sure, but definitely within the last six, seven years. And it's classed as an aromatic spicy. Not sure if I would actually list that as that, but who knows. Now the note breakdown for this one here, top notes gonna be lemon and verbena, lemon, but also iris. The mid is gonna be lavender, violet, and spicy notes. And the base is gonna be ambergris and sandalwood. So what do I get from this one here? Now this opens up with citruses, the iris. The iris does add that powdery nuance and the iris does stay for quite some time, right? But what really pops is gonna be that lemon verbena. The lemon verbena really does shine very much like how the sun is shining on me right now. And I gotta wear a hat because yesterday I got a bit of a burn. So that's what happens when you don't wear a hat and you're bald. So <laughs> you gotta be, gotta come prepped. You also get that lavender as the dry down does proceed. The lavender does come out, the lemon verbena does stay along with the iris, but it becomes maybe a, a smidge more powdery from that violet, okay? So super aromatic, the first like half life of the scent, really. It's bright, it's a little powdery, it's absolutely green from top to bottom in my opinion. And the base is very woody, but at the same time, it's green. So for me, it's a fantastic scent and it's the best representation or clone to Creed's Green Irish Tweed, which I have a bottle. I did not bring it with me. I love GIT. That was my wedding fragrance. It's a wedding gift for my wife. But the price tag for that Creed is just insane. I love Creed. And I, I love Creed, but I have stated it so many times on camera, at this point, they're nothing but the greed and they seem to be watering down their scents. I don't know if they watered down GIT, I wouldn't be surprised, but this, this is like $30 or less. Let's say $35 Canadian or less. It smells so close. Is the ingredients just as good? Of course not, you know? It's not as smooth or as well blended, but for what you're spending, that that price tag, you can't complain. You really can't complain. It smells really good. And I would say that this fragrance is more so for the everyday guy. Someone who doesn't wanna spend a lot of money or has a lot of money to spend. This is a great alternative. It's very versatile. It's signature scent worthy. Though the performance, you can't complain because I get like, seven to nine hours. It's spring and summertime. It's a great signature scent for the everyday guy. Generally, when you think of like clones, not really clones, but like fragrances that smell like GIT, a lot of us naturally think of Davidoff Cool Water, which is a great alternative. This is just better. You know, Cool Water does have that GIT feel. This just, has more of a GIT feel. Budget friendly, long lasting, versatile. I'm generally not into these clones or these representations, I'm just not. But the more I smell from this brand, the more I'm convinced. I prefer the, the real deal. I, I will always prefer that. Even if they do a clone of like of a Burberry or a Kenneth Cole, I just prefer the real deal. I don't know why, that's probably just a psychology thing. But if you haven't, smell this one out. I guarantee you that you're gonna love this one, especially if you're into like just cheapies. But guys, that is my quick little take of Armoff Tre Nuit. So any other videos that I've done from this brand, they will all be down in the description box below. And because that this is, <clears throat> I'm starting to lose my voice here, and because that this is a cheapie, why don't you check out right here. And if you like this very video, please, Leave me one of these. I think my time, take care, and I will see you later. Thanks for watching, everybody.